Your falcon's halberd is poised to be one of the hunter's class best exotics for the duration of the lightfall year. Between having one of the best ag clear perks to endless survivability with invisibility and devour through aspects and fragments, this exotic will be on every hunter for the day one of the rightfall raid, and in today's video, I plan to show you how and why that is. So what is Trafalcon's Halberg? Trafalcon's Halberg is a hunter exotic chest piece with the perk See Me, Feel Me. This perk states your void weapons gain volatile rounds after you merge from being invisible. When you are invisible and defeat a combatant while using a finisher, all of your weapons gain bonus damage. You and your nearby allies gain a reserve overshield and improved class ability during regeneration. These reserve overshields can be deployed by using a class ability. This perk's description alone should be enough for you to understand just how strong this exotic is. Well, if it isn't, let us hope today's build will convince you otherwise. To begin today's build, we are going to start with our subclass. For our class ability in Grenade, I recommend you use Gambler's Dodge and Vortex Grenades. Vortex Grenades are without a doubt one of the best grenades in Destiny 2 due to their large AoE and their ability to suck enemies in. I recommend Gambler's Dodge because even though we will not be using Trapper's Ambush for our, our smoke, still allows us to go invisible through a different aspect. So, having the ability to get our smoke back, in my opinion, is better than just reloading our weapons for this build. For our aspects, we will be using Stylus Executioner and Vanishing Step. Vanishing Step is going to be our go-to ability because we will want to start every ad clear fight by going invisible, so that way you can activate the perks on your Falcon's Halberk. Stylus Executioner is going to be our ying to the yang of Vanishing Step into your Falcon. Stylus Executioner states that defeating any void debuff target that includes suppressed, weakened, or volatile will cause you to become invisible and be granted true sight. True sight is essentially just wall hacks. This pairs perfectly because you will always be defeating volatile or weakened targets and therefore will always be weaving in and out of invisibility. And last up are fragments. You have four fragment slots available to you, and I recommend that you use these four fragments. First, Echo of Persistence. Though this fragment hurts our mobility stat, the buffs it gives you by extending the duration of all void buffs is going to build in perfectly for our build today. The second is going to be Echo of Obscurity. This fragment gives us a third way to proc invisibility and lets us safely perform finishers and activate the second part of the See Me Feel Me perk on your Falcon's Halberg. Next up is Echo of Remnants. This allows our grenade to last longer, so it can better deal with high health and large groups of enemies. Lastly is Echo of Starvation. This is going to grant us Devour every time we pick up an Orb of Power. This is going to negate the biggest downfall of this build and allows us to survive basically anything. That is going to be all for the subclass, and now let's head over to our armor for our mods. For our mods, you have a set of choices. Your first option is building into Easy Font of Might uptime. This setup includes a Reaping Wellmaker, three copies of Font of Might, and an Elemental Time Dilation. With this setup, you dodge, get any kill with a weapon, spawn a Void Well, pick it up, and then you have 30 seconds of 25% extra damage. Easy and simple. I highly recommend this setup for boss fights and things like dungeons and raids because your base survivability is so high anyways that the extra damage is a go-to. Your second setup is about ability uptime and extra survivability. This setup I highly recommend in things like GMs and solo lost sectors, content where the boss fight is not going to be as important. You are going to keep that Reaping Wellmaker on, but now you're going to add on a copy of Elemental Armaments, copy of Bountiful Wells, copy of Well of Utility, and lastly, a copy of Well of Tenacity. This is going to allow you to always have your dodge up and have extra damage resistance. For stats, you want to go about 100 resilience, 100 discipline, and then get your mobility as high as you can. Your grenade is going to allow for group ad clear and supplemental damage. Resil is going, resilience is going to give you 40% damage resistance, and the rest of your stat points into mobility is to ensure you maintain your dodge uptime as often as possible. This will also keep you invisible, which in turn keeps up volatile rounds. With this build, for the Hunter Exotic Chest Piece, your Falcon's Halberg, you will top the wipe screen with damage because of the Font of Might setup, be truly unkillable by any game through things of infinite invis and devour uptime, and have the most kills in every activity no matter what you do through things like volatile rounds. 
Mr. Falcon's halberd is positioned to be the hunter's number one most used exotic as we head into the Lightfall expansion, and I hope with this build, you use it as often as effect and as effectively as I do. I'll be re revisiting this and so many other builds in Lightfall year with the updates to the build crafting Bungie announced last week. I hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like here on the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you all, and with that being said, this has been Antony, and goodbye!